presenting Mask Kangaroo 2017 levels 5 and 6. Problem 1. Four cards lie in a row. Which row of cards can you not obtain if you can only swap two cards? So we can do this by looking at all these and then comparing it to this to see if we can do one card swap and make it work. So A is possible because you can just switch the, the 7 and the 0 and then you get 2710. So, so A cannot be the answer. B does not work because <clears throat> if we look at this, you would have to switch it multiple times because you'd, pro you'd have to switch the 0 and the 1 and then the 0 and the 2. Therefore, th but just to make sure, we're going to check C, D, and E to make sure that we didn't make a mistake on B. So C, we we know that it can only it 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 can be done in only one because we can just switch the two and the one. So C cannot be our answer. D D is not, D is D is not the answer either because we can easily swap it by swapping the two and the zero. And E is not the answer either because you, we can easily do that by swapping the seven and the one. Therefore, we know our answer is B. 0, 1, 2, 7. Problem 2. A fly has 6 legs and a spider has 8 legs. Together, 3 flies and 2 spiders have as many legs as 9 chickens and how many cats? So, we, since we know we have 3 flies and each fly has 6 legs, we know that's 18. And since we know that a chicken has, so we know that's 18. And then we do spiders, so that's 8 times 2, which gives us 16. And then we know that equals 9 times 2, which equals 18, plus, and then the amount of cats. So, since we know that, since we know that these two are both 18, we're going to subtract 18 on both sides. And then we have 16 equals the amount of cats. So we know a cat has four legs. So we know a cat has four legs. So since we know a cat has four legs, then we know that 16 divided by four equals four. Therefore, we know our answer is C, four cats. Problem three. Alice has four pieces of this shape. Which picture can she not make from these four pieces? So we can just look at this and we can go through each of them and make sure that they all work. And we have, and since we know that one of these doesn't work, when we find the one that doesn't work, then we'll know that that's the correct answer. So for A, we know it's possible because if we look at this, we can have one, two, three, four. So A is possible. B, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so B is possible. C, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, so we know C is possible. And for D, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So finally, we get to E, and we see we can have 1, 2, 3. But then, what about the, we have three leftover dots, squares, that we can't really connect. Therefore, we know our answer is E. Problem four. Callie knows that one 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 times one 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 equals one two three four three two one. How much is one 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 times two 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 two? So we know that one 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 times one 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 equals one two three four three two one, and we know that two 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 equals one 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 times two. So basically, what we have here is we have one 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 times one 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 times two, and we know that this equals one two three four three two one. So basically, in our end result, we have one two three four three two one times two. And since we, we have it times 2, then we know that our answer is 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 6, 4, 2. And therefore, our answer is D, 2, 4, 6, 8, 6, 4, 2.
Problem 5. On a planet, there are 10 islands and 12 bridges. All bridges are open for traffic right now. What is the smallest number of bridges that must be closed in order to stop all traffic between A and B? So we know these islands are A and B, and we have to cut these, <coughs> these off, these paths off. So if we look at the three paths going out, paths going out of A, we see that these two go out separately, but then they come back, come back in in the same, in the same point. So we know that if we take out this portion, then this even, even if they leave at different points, they'll both intersect here, and when they come over here, this will be closed, so this part will be immobilized. Then we look over on this side, and we see that if they get too far over here, then they can split off over here, and then that will result in us having to close down more bridges. So the problem is solved if we just close down this bridge, because then they can't get to this bridge or any of these other bridges. So it immobilizes this portion. Therefore, we know that the maximum, the minimum number of bridges we can close is is B, two bridges. Problem six. Jane, Kate, and Lynn go for a walk. Jane walks up front. Kate walks in the middle and Lynn walks behind. Jane weighs 500 kilograms more than Kate. Kate weighs 1,000 kilograms less than Lynn. Which of the following pictures shows Jane, Kate, and Lynn in the right order? Well, since we, we know that Kate, Kate, is a small, Kate weighs the least because Kate plus something plus some number equals J equals Jane and Lynn. So we know that K equals small. Then we go over to J. Then we have to go over here and fi figure out which one's larger, L or J. And if we look at it, we see that L gets the high, higher addition, higher value added to it. So we know that L equals large and J equals medium. Now we know the order that they're in is Jane, Kate, and Lynn. So we know from this that it should be medium, small, large. Therefore, we know our answer is A, medium, small, large. Problem seven, a special die has a number on each face. The sums of the numbers on opposite faces are all equal. Five of the numbers are 5, 6, 9, 11, and 14. What number is on the sixth face? So we know that the problem gives us our first five numbers, which are 5, 6, 9, 11, and 14. And we immediately notice a pattern here. We see that 9 plus 11 equals 20, and 6 plus 14 also equals 20. So we know that 5 plus something must equal 20. And we know that 20 minus 5 equals 15. Therefore, we know our answer is E, 15. Problem 8. Martin wants to color the squares of a rectangle so that one third of all the squares are blue and half of all the squares are yellow. The rest of the squares are to be red. How many squares will he color red? Well, we look over here, and we, since, we, since we know that one third of one third of these squares has to be blue, then we have to count these columns. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns. So we know that two columns will be blue. Next, we go over to yellow, and since we know that one half is yellow, and since we know that there are six columns. Three of these columns will be yellow. So we know that there are three squares left to be red. Therefore, we know our answer is C, three. Problem nine. In the time it takes Peter to solve two problems for the math, math kangaroo competition, Nick manages to solve three problems. In total, the boys solved 30 problems. How many more problems did Nick Solve then Peter. So we know that in the time that it takes Peter to do two, Nick does three. So if we add two plus three, that equals five, we get the 
amount they get, the amount of, uh, the amount of problems they solve in that certain amount of time. So then we just do 30 divided by 5, and then we get 6. So then we have to go back and then plug in 6 to both 3 and 2. So 6 times 3 equals 18, and 6 times 2 equals 12. And then we do 18 minus 12, and we get 6. Therefore, we know our answer is B, 6. Problem 10. Bob folded a piece of paper and used a hole punch and punched exactly one hole in the paper. The unfolded paper can be seen in the picture. Which of the following pictures shows the lines along which Bob folded the, this piece of paper? So, I've drawn out each of these. I've enlarged each of these and drawn them out. So, we, we, can, we can test each of these to see which one works. So, A doesn't work because he would have to punch it along this, uh, along this end, and that, would result in, that wouldn't result in anything good because that wouldn't really get the pattern we're looking for, which is a diagonal pattern. So A cannot be the answer. For B, if he, in order to get this pattern, he, have, he would have to punch it like this, and then that would result in mirrored punches like this. So B cannot be it either. C cannot be it because he would have to punch this one two times. And when that reflects over, it doesn't work because then you have it reflected all over here and it makes an X, not just a diagonal. So C cannot work. D works because if you if he punch if he folds this figure up, then he gets something like this. And when he has this, if he punches a hole right here and unfolds it, then we get this pattern where it's like this, 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 and this. But just to make sure, we're going to check E. E is not possible because if he punched a hole here, then the hole would, uh, the hole would re reflect and mirror on these other two segments. Therefore, we know our answer is D. Problem 11. The modern furniture store is selling sofas, love seats, and chairs Made, a, made from identical modular pieces as shown in the picture. Including the armrests, the width of the sofa is 220 centimeters, and the width of the love seat is 160 centimeters. What is the width of the chair? <clears throat> well, we know this is 220 and this is 160, and we're trying to find the chair, like the problem said. And if we look at this, if we split the squares that these are made of, we actually see we can split them into three pieces that are exactly equal to these armrests. And then if we count these pieces from the sofa, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then two twenty divided by eleven equals twenty. So we know that so so we know that one of these is twenty. So since we know that both of these are twenty, so we have forty plus something. And since we know these are made of three of these 20 parts, then 20 times three equals 60. So that's 40 plus 60, which equals 100. Therefore, our answer is D, 100. Problem 12. The five keys fit the five padlocks. The numbers on the keys refer to the letters on the padlocks. What is written on the key with the question mark? So, first we're going to look for the one that spells out dad. Well, we see that this key is the only one that actually repeats 414. So, we know that D equals 4 and that A, and that A equals 1. So, we know that this one goes into this one. So, next we go to BHD. Since we don't know what B is, but we do know what D is, then we're going to look for something, something, Four. So, so it seems that we actually get, we get, we get, so it seems that none of these really work for BHD. So we're going to look at these and see if any of these don't work. So A, I, I, D, we know that A is one and D is four and we see that there
there's two of these. There's one, two, four, and one, eight, four. But I, I cannot be two, so this is one, eight, four. So we know that I, I now equals eight. And then A, B, D, that seems to be one, two, four, because if A is one, then B should be two, and then C should be three, and then D is four. So A, B, D is one, two, four. And then H, A, B, or HAB is, ha, H, A, B is one of the last ones we have left. And we know that A equals one and that B equals two. So we know that this one goes to this one. So we know that B, H, D is the last one left. And if we look at what we have here, we know that H equals eight. So that means we have two, eight, four. Therefore, our answer for this problem is C, two, eight, four. Problem 13. Tom writes uh, now, uh, all the numbers from one to 20 in a row and obtains the 31 digit number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then he deletes 24 of the, the 31 digits in such a way that the remaining number is as large as possible. What number does he get? Well, we, we know that we have to have nine at the beginning, so we can just delete all these front numbers and pretty much everything in the back. But then we have to find the, the, next, the, next, the, the next number that can be the largest, and then <clears throat> we have to go all the way through these because these are pretty small and then we stop at seven because seven seven is one of the because seven is the largest we can go for this di for this for this for this position and then we have to d take away this one because this one does not add any value it just decreases value and then we have a one two three four five six seven digit number left so, we know our seven digit number is nine, seven, eight, one, nine, two, zero. And we conveniently see that that is also the answer for C. So therefore, we know our answer is C, nine, seven, eight, one, nine, two, zero. Problem 14. Mortem wants to put the figure shown on the right into a regular box. Which of the following boxes is the smallest he can use? So we know that we have to get the dimensions of the box. So we have to count these. So what going up, the height of it is one, two, three. So we know it's three times something times something. So then we look at the length. The length is one, two, three, four, five. So it's times five. And finally, we look at so we've already looked at the length, the height, the, the length, the height. Now we need to look at the width. So for the width, we have one, two, three, four. So we have five times, three times five times four, or three times four times five, which is the answer for C, three times four times five. Problem 15. When we add the numbers in each row and along the columns, we get the results shown. Which statement is true? So, we can, there are many different scenarios that we can have for this because it never said that the numbers had to be positive. But we're going to use positive numbers because I don't want to go into negative numbers. So, if we use positive numbers, then we have A equals 1, C equals 0, B equals 1, and D equals three. And then now we look at these terms over here. A is equal to D. No, because D is greater than A. B is equal to C. No, because C is zero. A is greater than D. No, because once again, D is three. A is less than D. A is less than D, but just to make sure, we'll check the last one, which is E. C is greater than B. C is greater than B. No, because C is zero. 
Therefore, we know our answer is D. A is less than D. Problem 16. Peter went hiking in the mountains for five days. He started on Monday and his last hike was on Friday. Each day he walked two kilometer, kilometers more than the day before. When the whole trip was over, his total distance was 70 kilometers. What distance did Peter walk on Thursday? Well, we can represent how, how far he walked on Monday by a, a x. So then we know we have 5x plus, plus 20 because since we have to add 2 every day, that's, that's 5x plus 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8, and then that equals 20. So now that we have this down, then we know that this equals 70, so we can subtract 20 from both sides. And then we have 5x equals 50. So we know that x equals 10. Now, since we know that this is Thursday, we have Monday, which is none, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So that means he has six, he has to add six kilometers to 10. So we have 10 plus six, which equals 16. Therefore, our answer for this problem is E, 16 kilometers. Problem 17. There is a picture of a kangaroo in the first triangle. A side shared by the two triangles acts as a mirror. The first two reflections are shown. What does reflection look like in the shaded triangle? So, we can, we can just continue mirroring this by saying the tails here. So the feet would be here, and then the head would be here, and then the head would be here, the feet would be here, the tail would be here. So then we know that we know that since this this has the, these are feet that this one has to have its feet pointing this way. And it has to have its head pointing this way. And then its tail should be like that. So if we look at our options, we see that E is the only one that actually fits this description. Therefore, we know our answer is E. Problem 18. Boris has a certain amount of money and three magic wands that he can only use once. This wand adds $1.00. This one subtracts one dollar, and this one doubles the amount by two. two. In which order must he use these wands to obtain the largest amount of money? So, we obviously know that subtract one cannot be first, because then that would make it one of the small, smallest sums. And if we do plus one and then minus one, well then that would just literally just be times two. So then we realize that our most efficient way is to do plus one and then times two because, because then we, we have the minus one last. And when we have minus one last, so, um, it makes the largest number because you're adding one to the, the original sum and then you're multiplying that, that by two and then you're subtracting by one. So you're actually gaining a lot more, more than any other combinations. Therefore, we know our answer is D. Plus 1 times 2 minus 1. Problem 17. Raphael has three squares. The first one is, has a side length of 2 centimeters. The second one has a side length of 4 centimeters and a vertex placed at the center of the first square. The last one has a side length of six centimeters and a vertex placed in the center of the second square, as shown in the picture. What is the area of the entire figure? Well, we, since we know that this is two and we know that this is in the direct middle, we know that this is one, this is one, and this is one, which means the area of this is one. And since we know that this is four, and this is, and we're getting half of four, then this is two, and this is two, making this area four. Now we just need to solve, multiply the areas of all these squares, and then subtract five from it. So, 
2 times 2 equals 4, and then 4 times 4 equals 16, 6 times 6 equals 36. Now, we can add all these up, but then we see, we can add these two up, and that equals 20, and then we just, then we can just add these two, and we have 56. And then we have to subtract the 5 from here. So we do 56 minus 5, which equals 51. Therefore, we know our answer is B, 51 centimeters squared. Problem 20. Four players scored goals in a handball match. All of them scored a different number of goals. Among the four, Mike was the one who scored the least number of goals. The other three scored 20 goals in total. What is the largest number of goals Mike could have scored? So we'll call we'll call Mark A and the rest of the people B, C, and D. So we know B, B, C, D. This B, C, D equals twenty. And uh, so once we know that B, C, D equals twenty, then we have to try to find values that fit this, and also all the values have to be different. First, we if we look at six seven and eight then if we add them up we get 21 which is one over what we need so then we know that we have to have five six and something and in this case five plus six equals 11 and then 20 minus 11 equals nine so we know that we have five six and nine since we know that five is the smallest number the 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 greatest number the greatest value mark could have is four therefore we know our answer is c four problem 21 a bar consists of uh, consists of two gray cubes and one white cube glued together as shown in the figure which figure can be built from nine such bars so we, we see that A, B, C, D, and E have all been drawn out. So we know that there should be nine white pieces that we should be able to see. So if we count these, how many white pieces there should be? Nine that we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this one has nine. So, so this, is, this one can be a possible answer. This one has nine. This one can be a possible answer. This one is nine, so this one can be a possible answer. This one has nine, so it can be a possible answer. But this one does not have nine, so we can immediately eliminate E. After we eliminate E, next we look at we look at the flaws in these. So A seems to be perfect, but just to make sure, we're gonna check B, C, and D. So for B. B, it, B's flaw is this part because you can't have white, you can't have white, black, white, and then you can't have this either. So B is incorrect. C is incorrect because you have this white, and that's not possible. And even if you say, oh, it, this, it's going diagonally this way, well then what about this? So C cannot be the answer. And finally, D. D cannot be the answer just because of this corner piece because this corner piece is messing up the balance because it's supposed to be the opposite of this. It's supposed to be white, black, black instead of black, white, white. Therefore, we know our answer is A. Problem 22. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 have just been written have, have to be written in the five cells in the figure in the following way. If a number is just below another number, it has to be greater. If a number is just to the right of another number, it has to be greater. How, in how many ways can this be done? Well, I I wrote out a couple. I wrote out a couple, a couple, a, a, a couple of these figures so that we could test it out. And we so. We obviously know that this middle number has to be the smallest number we have, so it has to be 1. So we can fill in 1 in all of these. Next, we have to figure out where the where the numbers are going. And then we realize that these are interchangeable. We can have 
one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five. So that's already two. And then, so we basically know that the rest of these are repeats of each other. So we know this one can be one, three, five, two, one, three, five, two, four. This one can then be one, two, four, three, five. And then this one can be one, <coughs> one, three, four, two, five. And then this is one, two, five, three, four. And then after that, we can't really move any of these other numbers because if we switch these two, then we just get what we have over here. If we switch these two, then we just have what we have over here. Therefore, we can count how many we have, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Therefore, we know our answer is D, six. Problem 23. Eight kangaroos stood in a line as shown in the diagram. At some point, two kangaroos standing side by side and facing each other exchanged places by jumping past each other. This was repeated until no further jumps were possible. How many exchanges were made? Well, first we have to group up these kangaroos, and we see that this is one group, and this is another group. They're going this way. So we're going to count them going this way. So, since this is three and it's jumping over one, we have three jumps over this one. So that's three plus something. Then, this group joins up with this group and creates a five group, and this five group jumps over these two. So then, you have five, plus five plus five. And then this equals 10, and then 10 plus 3 equals 13. Therefore, we know, equals 13. Therefore, we know our answer is D, 13. Problem 24. Monica has to choose five different numbers. She has to multiply some of them by 2 and others by 3 in order to get the smallest number of different results. What is the least number of results she can obtain? Well, if we, we first look at this, and we then immediately we immediately know that our first two numbers are going to be 2 and 3, because 2 times 3 equals 6, and two, 3 times 2 equals 6. So then, and then we know that our next one also has to be somehow match up. And then we, we get 4 and 6. Because 4 times 3 equals 12, and 6 times 2 equals 12. And then, for the last one, it can't really match up in any sort of way. So, we can just go with the random number as our last one. So, we know that this is 1, this is 1, and then this one is another 1. So, then we have 1 plus 1 plus 1, and we get 3. Therefore, we know our answer is C. Three different results. Problem 25. The square floor in, in the picture is covered by triangular and square tiles in gray or white. What is the smallest number of gray tiles that need to be exchanged with white tiles so that the pattern looks the same from each of the four directions shown? So these are the four directions that are shown, which is basically like every single side. Like this way, this way, this way, and this way. So, in our, if, we, if we look at this, we already start to see a pattern. If we look at this, we see that this looks kind of like a fish that's going up. And then if we go this way, we see a fish that's going up again. If we go this way, we should, should see a fish that's going up, but we don't. So, we, we're going to move this, this square over here. And then that completes part of that completes part of the this part. That completes part of this thing. Okay, and then so now that we look at this way, now we have to have the fish uh, a fish going up like this. So we need to move this over here. So if we look, we've only moved one square and one triangle. And if we look at our our choices, we see that one triangle and one square is C. Therefore, C is our answer. C, one triangle and one square, is our answer. Problem 26. 
A bag contains only red marbles and green marbles. For any five marbles we pick, at least one is red. For any six marbles we pick, at least one is green. What is the largest number of marbles that the bag can contain? Well, since for every five there's at least one red marble, we know that there are four green. Because then if we have four green, then we're assuming that in the five, it's possible that you pick out all four green for the four, and then you just pick out one red for the next one. And then we know that from this, from this philosophy, we know that there are five red because this is one green per, uh, 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 at least one green for every six. So with this information, we can just add four plus five and we get nine. Therefore, our answer is C, nine. Problem 27. Allah likes even numbers, Beata likes numbers divisible by three, and Celia likes numbers divisible by five. One by one, the girls walked up to the basket containing eight balls with numbers written on them, and each girl took out all the balls with the numbers she likes. It turned out that Allah collected balls with numbers 32 and 52, Beta collected balls with numbers 24, 33, and 45, and Celia collected balls with numbers 20, 25, and 35. What order did the girls approach the basket? Well, we have to look at the numbers that we have. And uh, since we see that B and C both have even numbers, we know that A is probably the last. And then we look over here and we see B has a number divisible by 5. So we know B is first and then C is second. So then we look at our answer choices and we find that D ha has the pattern of B, C, A. Therefore, our answer is D, B, C, A. Problem 28. John wants to write a natural number in each box in the diagram in such a way that each number above the bottom row is the sum of the two numbers in the boxes immediately underneath. What is the largest number of odd numbers that John can write? Well, the largest number of even numbers he can have, largest number of odd numbers he can have is he can have one here, two here, and then one here and one here. Then if we do this, that gets us three, three, and two. This gets us six and five, and then 11. And then, so, now we're going to count how many odd numbers there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, we know that our answer is D, 7. Problem 29. Julia has four different colored pencils and wants to use some or all of them to color the map of the an island divided into four countries, as shown in the picture. If two countries have a common border, cannot have the same color, how many ways can she color the map of the island? Well, we know that this one, so we're going to start in this direction, and we're going to move our way this way. So we know this one can have four because it has no restrictions yet. This one can have three. This one can have two, and th this one, wait, this one can have two, and then this one can have two. The reason why this one can have two is because this one is not touching this one. And then if we multiply these together, 4 times 3 equals 12. 12 times 4 equals 48. Therefore, we know our answer is E, 48. Problem 30. In each cell of a 6x6 board, there is a lamp. We say that two lamps on this board are neighbors if they lie in cells with a common side. At the beginning, some lamps are lit, and each minute, every lamp having at least two lit neighboring lamps is lit after if the three cells have a common vertex. What is the minimum number of lamps that need to be lit at the beginning in order to be sure that at some time all lamps will be lit? Well, there is a strategy here, and since we know that it has to, it has to ha at least have two, then if we put if we put the, sh the lit lamps all the way down the middle like this, then we see that immediately in the first minute these will be affected. These will be affected. This this will be affected. 
this will be affected and this will be affected and then on this side this will be affected this will be affected this will be affected and this will be affected and this will be effective affected and then basically what we have is like a wave effect where it starts off as a diagonal and then it waves off until it gets like this this and then this and then this and on this side this 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 and then this and then that's that that makes sure that we get all of our numbers at some point and then now we have to count how many squares need to be used how many lit, lit lamps need to be used so that's one two three four five six therefore we know our answer is c six don't forget to subscribe and like if you have any questions you can email info at agoramagical.org or comment below and we'll reply back maybe and if you want to see practice things or anything about us you can visit our website which is basically the end of the email but without the info and the end so bye